Hey guys, this is a little caddis pattern that uh, myself and some of my teammates on Team USA Youth came up with the other day. Um, it's kind of a simple little caddis and it actually doesn't take very long to tie when you're not doing a video on it. So uh looks pretty good, should work pretty well. So I'm just going to start out with some uh, point, uh, 0 .010 lead and make a little bit of taper with my lead. So bring it all the way up to the bead and then I'm going to wrap it back over itself and go back down the length of the fly about halfway down the length of the lead you've already made. So it should look something like that. Don't really worry too much about how your lead looks because you're not going to be able to see it at the end. Um, Okay, I like to start my thread just right there behind it. Um, it's just olive thread again. Uh, just for this particular pattern, it doesn't really matter what color thread you use because you're not going to be able to see it um, in any step of the fly. Um, so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get just a section of this nymph skin. This is the natural colored. Um, sorry, I did not cut a piece of this before the video, but it should only take a second. To tie one fly, I mean, you really honestly only need about two inches of it, if that. So uh, what I like to do is cut this at a little bit of an angle. Just helps me tie it on. Um, it doesn't leave a big old lump where you tied it in. And then just tie it in pretty deep down into the bend. So you should be left with something looking relatively similar to that. And uh, this part's pretty easy. You just can make a pretty level taper with this. Um, again, as, as I, I've, I've used this nymph skin before in, in another video, but um, you're just going to wrap the, your wrap that you're doing now over half of your previous wrap. And that gives you a really good segment and a pretty good taper. Um, as long as you just make sure you're keeping it at a pretty even pressure that you're putting on this because it's elastic. If you pull it harder at the end, then it's it's going to be a lot thinner towards the front. So keep a pretty pretty level amount of the pressure on it and uh, do your wraps halfway over the, the previous one. And you should be left with a halfway decent taper like that. And you could honestly probably just leave this fly just like this. I'm sure it'll work pretty well. But um, I like to add a little bit more to it, so I'm going to make a dubbing loop. Get my dubbing whirl, put it in there, um, and I'm going to use this is a peacock black from uh, Jan Simon. It's really worn out. I use it a lot, so just get a pretty small pinch of this and put it up in your dubbing whirl or dubbing loop rather and give it a twist and then again I like to pick out all these little bit of fibers at the end sometimes there's stuff that's just not even caught in there the reason I like to do that is just because I don't want to finish my fly then the first fish that eats it pulls out all that dubbing and I find that I haven't put enough dubbing in there uh, in the first place so that looks pretty good to me wrap that all the way up and then tie that in pretty secure and now I'm going to whip finish this thread off. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull all this dubbing forward. And I'm going to use a dark brown permanent marker. And I'm going to color over the back of the fly, just, just the back, halfway up the fly. Uh, leave the bottom pretty light colored. I think it gives it a pretty cool, pretty cool effect. Looks really realistic. So you should be left with something kind of like that. And you can just let that dry for just a second, and then pull all your fibers back. And then the last step, just get some some chartreuse thread uh, or floss of some kind. What I've got here is, is Datum Glow Bright. And I don't even put it on a spool. I just do this last part with my fingers. I wet the thread. And I'm just going to 
start my thread right here and secure it and cut this little section off that I have right here. So this is my little, my little tag end. I cut that off and then just whip finish the rest of it like so. And you get a nice little green hot spot there at the front. I think it looks pretty cool. And that's it. Should uh, should work anywhere that there's caddis. I've got this tied on a uh, size 12, but I, I'm sure it'll work on, you know, size 18 and above. Should work pretty good. Um, and I've got a green anodized bead on here right now, but uh, I imagine you know, copper, gold, silver, whatever, ought to work pretty good. So, uh, yeah, whip her up, see if she works for you.